Hey guys, hey, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. We got something we want to show you. I gotta do it like this. <laughs> <laughs> we really got something we want to show you. Here, 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 check this out. Look, look, look. So I'm on the treadmill. Now, scrolling through some of these emails I got, and I come across one that says in the subject line, hey, it, <laughs> you're not gonna believe what this one said. But first, let me get this quick set in real quick. Red say life is walking through the mud, I'm battle tested. Can't complain, I can't debate on who the best is. Over time, I don't really care about who next is. Man, I'm right now. Push it, push it, push it. Push it, push it, push it, push it, push it, push it. Yeah, I watch sports center, not the news. Yeah, couldn't name me Paul cause I'm the truth. Yeah, always find the wins after I lose. Even in Royale, you can pick and choose. I hope you remember me. I know you remember me. Now normally, I don't respond or even open these emails, let alone respond to them. And especially like this one right here. Let me show this one. I don't even know if I still have it. I might have deleted it. But it's, this email says, here's the subject line. I might have deleted the damn thing. Go in the trash. Where is the trash? Trash. There it is. All right, here we go. This, this was one of them. This says... It says, quick question from a fan. Whenever you say fan in the subject line, I know all you're trying to do is sell me some uh, editing or script writing so uh, service or thumbnail or whatever. But um, yeah, uh, so it wasn't that one. But I did get another email, surprisingly, about something that Michelle had talked about on her video today. I'm gonna tell you guys about it. But then sometimes I don't even know what channel the email is even referring to because I get so many emails coming in from multiple different channels. But then, you know, it's like, most of the stuff is just trash. I gotta delete it because it's just not even worth the time. And, uh, you know, getting rid of some of these comments and hiding users from the channel, blocking people, because it's just, it's just, it's, it's not, a, it's not a, a meaningful or, you know, positive or helpful uh addition to the content that's being created for instance like, i don't know i don't know what you're talking about you know you ultimately have created this this idea this thought this picture in your head you see what you want to see you believe what you want to believe I, there's nothing i can do about that but be that as it may i want to tell you about this email regarding brace yourself how's your video doing uh well on 2.0 oh really yeah. okay cool and uh very positive uh comments positive good good so uh I will go into deeper discussion and conversation over on Patreon, it's linked down below. And you're gonna to wanna to sign up for Kevin's tier because Kevin's tier is going to be where I'll be going a whole lot further than what I am and sharing on YouTube and taking much deeper dives and going behind the scenes and sharing with you guys things that I'll never share on YouTube. Um, but I honestly, I thought for a second, maybe, maybe he saw my video and he thought to himself, he said, let me, let me send an email to Kevin and see if I can get him to help me get more views and get more subs and make more money. Now, it's always a risk as we leave the gym on whether or not we're going to be starving. Yeah. <laughs> and I was starving before we got to the gym. Yeah. I just didn't say anything. Same. And then I decided to go a little heavier today. And Now you're extra hungry. Uh, no pre-workout, though, so I, I feel good. My shoulder feels good. Which honestly, if I'm gonna bench, I'm gonna have to bench with dumbbells instead of the barbell because it allows me greater range of motion on my left shoulder. But it's always a gamble. And I was gonna say it's a 50-50 shot on the gamble on whether or not there are bananas or not. Because the gym gives us free bananas. It gives us free bananas, free apples, but we choose to go for the bananas. But it's, really, it's really not a 50-50. It's more like a 33 and a third repeating <laughs> because Maybe there's bananas, maybe there's not. Maybe there are bananas, but they're green as shit and I don't want them. <laughs> Did we buy a new boat? We took out a brand new Sea Fox and I think it was a Sea Fox 228 
maybe a 268, but I think it's a 228. And I put the video up so you guys can check it out. Side note, on that video, I'll show you the video, but on that video, it does look like we just bought a new boat. It was in fact a Sea Fox 228. All right, so it was a Sea Fox 228, brand new center console. They are MSRP anywhere from like 70,000, maybe 80,000. So it was a nice boat. It was, a, it was an enjoyable ride. And honestly, I'm looking forward to the next time we can take a boat out, just the two of us. So apparently we have a huge problem with cicadas. Yes, locusts, if you will. They're not locusts. Um, so- Do they break, do they carry disease? Possibly. Probably, mosquitoes do. Yeah, that's true. So they're supposed to be these cicadas that are coming out. They don't, they come out every 13 to 17 years from underground and they're gonna pop off in Georgia out of the red Georgia clay. As soon as the temperature gets huh. above 64 degrees Fahrenheit or roughly 18 degrees Celsius, these millions upon millions, closer to billions is what we're being told now of cicadas will start coming out. And the problem here is people are like, oh, cicadas aren't anything new, that's stupid, blah, 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 blah. Cool, cool. However, it's not just like a couple cicadas and their friends and their cousins. It is literally the extended family plus their friends, family and extended family all merging together in this massive mashup of cicadas over 16 different it's states. It's a cicada war. They're calling it cicada Geddon. And then it says it, there's different broods that are meeting up. And I don't remember the broods that they're called, but it's supposed to affect 16 different states. And a certain part of Illinois is supposed to get it really, really bad. And it's starting in Georgia and 16 states will be affected. But they said that it's going to be deafening, like the sound of jet engines is what it, it comes down to. And there's gonna be a lot of mating. And when they mate, there's sticky stuff that's left behind on everything. So you have to try not to touch anything these things have been on. They will swarm everything, your cars or whatever. Now birds will eat them, so the birds will be nice and fat and fluffy afterwards. Um, but cicadas also eat a lot of crops and vegetation. It's funny you mentioned the birds because the bird, the avian bird flu has actually started to infect cattle now. So. So uh, we're likely going to see a huge impact negatively in uh, availability, but also an increase in price. So brace yourself, folks. The stores are going to raise their prices. We're going to see price gouging and price inflation, and we're going to see shortages quite possibly as people rush out and stock up and stockpile and hoard. But it's funny, the cicada situation reminds me of that movie, The Tomorrow War, where, spoiler alert, the enemy has been here all along yeah in you know underground so that's what it was that's what they said they're like it's basically like aliens have been living below us and now it's their time to rise and i was like why would you phrase it this way now i'm terrified now i'm picturing like little alien bugs just swarming everywhere with their jet engine deafening crickety noises and their sex sounds and seam and sticky sticky semen cicada semen and excretion Ew. And quite and then, possibly and then disease, they drop but their oh, husks. Their, their shells, they get rid of their shells, like how snakes get rid of their skins, cicadas get rid of their husks, I think is what it's called. And so you, the, and then it's like all crunchy when you walk on it. But what happens? What happens to the crops? They'll eat the crops, the vegetation. They got to eat something. So while they sit there and munch on the crops and the vegetation, the birds will then munch on them. So the birds are going to be, like I said, very well fed, but farmers and stuff are going to be like, where the crap right, are my So crops. they're coming out in Georgia. Yeah. So Georgia, we should expect a, pe a pecan shortage or a pecan, pecan short. I don't know which one it is. They're going to eat the pecans. Uh -huh. They're going to eat the corn. They're uh -huh. going to eat the soy. They're going to eat the wheat. Is it peach season? I don't know if they eat peaches. I don't know how this works. Georgia peaches. Uh -huh. I, what is it? I, I like my peaches down in Georgia. I got my peaches out in Georgia. Oh, yeah, shit. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah. So we're just, yeah, that's going to be a huge problem for grocery stores and produce and especially how does this impact the organic produce versus the pesticide? Like, will, the pe mm. will we see an increase in pesticide use to ward off the cicada destroying the crops? I don't know if the pesticides will do anything against them because they do have like husks, like weird exoskeletons. So the pesticides will be... <clears throat> They'll probably what be ineffective? Possibly. So farmers are going to be put out of business? Possibly. Every farmer that you know is potentially at risk. I like that C8 over there. That's nice. What else did you talk about in your video? The they said the first case of human human bird flu <laughs> has been 
identified in Texas, but then in the very next paragraph of this article, they said it's the second one in the country, in the history of the country. And I'm like, wait, is it the first or is it the second? <coughs> Which made me pause in listening to them. So bird flu is now a f infected beef cattle mm -hmm. and humans? They're saying that a human has it. Who said it? What can we do to prepare? Mm -hmm. Should we go out and buy stuff now? Then if everybody does it, then you have your shortages again though. So it's like a tricky one for me to answer. This, this is actually a great time to get out and get prepared. And I actually got a list of five things to stock up on now. Buy with cash, I did. Check this out. Oh. Hey, this way. Yeah. Yeah, but first, tacos. But first, tacos? I like the new things they have. I said, but first tacos. And she says, tacos, what? Yeah, you got a taco burger. Oh, yeah. Taco burger. I was going to tell you about the taco burger. You going to tell me? And I, that's what I said. Because you but said tacos. That's not I, taco burger. Close enough. Tell you close enough. I saw it on Instagram. Instagram. Oh, here it is. Sorry, we have to say first. All right, my Instagram just crashed. What is it? It's going to be you. Oh, okay. So call guest, if that helps. And then, uh, cat. All right, I gotta find you again. There it is. Yeah. The taco burger. Did y'all enjoy a spring break? Is it over? Yeah. Well, ours was, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You getting some? I like this one. I love it. I so. But first, tacos. I want to do this with that. Can you give me the rundown? It's going to be a seven ounce Jerkins Angus burger. So it's local, close to one sound, 70 30 dry aged blend. Really good local beef. Uh, Oaxacan cheese, which is like traditional Mexican cheese. Shredded Westonwood lettuce. Westonwood is one of our local purveyors. They're out of Freeport. They're a center for children on the spectrum, and they are able to work their way through the program and actually get paid to grow the lettuce aquaponically, which is pretty cool. Um, diced tomatoes, avocado puree, sour cream, and crumbled tortillas. Yum. And that's the first thing I do is take a bite of the Fritos. <laughs> and sweet potato fries. Sweet potato fries. Nice. It's a house made ranch. Okay, ranch let's do this. Yeah. Can you describe it? Juicy? They're down and they step up, keep it in go. Now we cannot let off. QB, I keep me a pack like breath off. Got them all shook soon as we tip off. Top of the ranking, yeah, watch how we slip off. Rushing my way, I'ma give them a stiff arm. There's the man right there. <laughs> What's going on? How you doing? How is everything? Great, as always.
All right, guys, that's the end of the video. This is actually the ending to... This is the ending to Scroll Tribe Life. And uh, thanks for watching. And yeah, I feel like there should be way more to these endings. <laughs> and I got nothing. And I'm just sitting here on this video. This is a completely different day. We just decided to sit out here and just hang out and chill. Nice and windy. Temperature's good. Yeah. Yeah. Almost perfection. Almost perfection. Have you ever seen me try to end a video on my main channel? Or 2.0? I don't know how to end videos either. I just ramble on for five minutes. I'm like, okay, bye. <laughs> for real this time. No, you hang up first. No, you. <laughs> All right, this is how we're going to end it. Squirrel trap.